Hello YouTube and welcome. In today's video I will be testing some of the popular non-contact voltage detectors available on the market today. Starting from the cheapest to the most expensive, here I have Emos, Parkside, Laserliner, Viha and Fluke. The first three are rated measurement category 3, meaning you can use them for measurements on your household or building installation right after the main circuit breaker, while the Fluke and the Viha are rated measurement category 4 and that's why you can use them for measurements even at the power source of the installation. They have better insulation and better resistance to impulse voltages. Before proceeding to the tests, let's take a look at some of the cool features of these devices, starting with the Fluke. It has this so-called volt bead. It's an integrated self-test system and when the device is switched on, it tip is flashing like this, like a heartbeat, showing you that the device is working properly. Also, it has integrated buzzer, a sound indicator. And the buzzer can be switched on and off. The Viha is the only one from the voltage detectors listed over here that it has a rubberized o-ring on its battery compartment cap meaning that you can totally submerge the device into water and it will continue to work. Here you can see the rubber o-ring. Of course no person in right mind will ever use this device under water but yet again it's a cool feature. Now the Viha has a twin sister sharing absolutely the same design but with integrated LED light. You can see the spot over here reserved for the LED light. And with better visualization of the voltage detection with several LED bars showing you even the distance from the object. Unfortunately this here is the cheaper model. No LED light and with only one bar. As you can hear, the Viha doesn't have a sound indication, unfortunately, but it has a power on off LED showing you that the device is working. Continuing with the laser liner, it has this cool feature called zoom. When you press this button over here, the device increases its sensitivity and it can detect live circuits from even greater distance. It has integrated LED light, but it doesn't have on off switch. The device is constantly on and I think it's quite strange. I'm not so sure how long its batteries will last. Also, there is no indication that it's on and working. And the only way to find if its batteries are not dead is maybe by pressing the button for the LED light. As you can hear, it has a buzzer, a sound indicator. Again, you cannot turn it off. The park side here has a combination of some cool features. LED light, LED indication that it's working. You can turn on and off the sound indicator, the buzzer. And the most interesting, the closer you are to the live circuit, the more frequent the buzzing and the flashing of the unit become. Lastly is this EMOS voltage detector, no cool features and no indication whether it's working or not except for this on the battery compartment cap. Now it's off, now it's on and this is how to remove the cap. You can see how silly it's realized. No way to tell whether the batteries are dead or not except for testing it before using on other live circuit. It has a buzzer. Beep. 
let's begin with the tests here i have this live circuit this ruler so the idea is to check which one of the voltage detectors will detect the live circuit from the greatest distance starting with the fluke And it seems that you have to be extremely close to the live circuit for the fluke to be able to detect it. And I mean extremely close. Continuing with Viha. Again, you have to be extremely close to the circuit. Now, let's test it with its zoom function on. about two centimeters away about two centimeters away And lastly, EMOS. Again, you have to be extremely close to the live circuit. Second test will be on this energized power strip. Let's measure its voltage. 235-36 volts now let's pinpoint the live conductor and this one here is the live neutral and grounding starting with the fluke Nothing on the grounding, nothing on the neutral, and beeping on the life. Continuing with Viha, nothing on the grounding, nothing on the life, on the neutral, and right indication on the life continuing with a laser liner nothing on the grounding nothing on the neutral and beeping on the life park site nothing on the grounding, nothing on the neutral, beeping and flashing on the life. And lastly, EMOS, nothing grounding, nothing on the neutral, and beeping on the life. Let's do the same test with the same power strip but without proper grounding, proper earthing, those two conductors over here are not connected. 
let's check the voltage 236 7 fluctuating nothing here and nothing here this is the live conductor neutral and due to those two not properly connected here we have a slight phasing i'm not sure if you're able to see it starting with the fluke nothing here nothing on the neutral and this is life continuing with Viha and here we have some indication for life conductor also life conductor on the neutral and again a red light on the life so in this situation the Viha is not the best choice it will mislead you indeed there is a problem with the power strip but with the Viha you might, might get a wrong impression continuing with the laser liner beeping here beeping on the neutral beeping on the life again you might get wrong impression continuing with parkside beeping here beeping on the neutral beeping on the life emos beeping here beeping everywhere so in such a scenario like this the power strip is not properly grounded the fluke is your best choice not beeping here not beeping here beeping on the life something that i don't like on these non-contact voltage detectors is that they can give you false positive when you use them on circuits with not correctly rectified ac voltage like these adapters for instance this is my motorola adapter and the output voltage should be i don't have idea what should be let me remove this and the output should be 5 volts dc i have also this philips adapter with output let me Fifteen volts DC. Now let's do some testing with these voltage detectors. First, the fluke. As you can see, it's beeping for a second and stopping. Viha it's illuminating in red showing you a live circuit and the Viha range should be from 90 to 1000 volts continuing with laser liner beeping again and the zoom function is not even pressed Parkside beeping and lastly 
you mouse again and this is the cable the usb cable from the 5 volts dc motorola adapter now let's test it with the cable coming out from the philips fluke no indication here Vicha. no indication laser liner nothing parkside beeping and lastly emos beeping also something interesting that i've noted is that some of these devices are affected by the position of your hand when measuring let me show you so this here is the live conductor the most affected device is this emos voltage detector nothing nothing here when i open my hand Let's test the Viha. No problems. Park site. Working correctly. Laser liner. In conclusion, if we exclude the price from the equation, I might say that the Fluke is the best voltage detector from those listed here. You get least false positives, even when the power outlet is not properly connected without uh, proper grounding. Otherwise, I might say that the Parkside is really a great choice. I'm a little bit tendentious here, everyone knows that I really like Parkside as a brand, but in this case, the facts speak for themselves. You get a lot of features, fairly good voltage detection, and the price is only 7 euros, I think it was 7 euros. Basically, that's all from me, if you'd like the video, thumbs up and subscribe.